everybody? How's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. So in the last few videos that I've done, I've announced that I now work for this company called Futo that seeks to give people back control over their technology and a little bit of a better understanding of their technology by providing funding to cool open source projects, doing some in-house engineering projects, and also stuff like what I'm going to show you today. So here, what you have are several desks that will be open to the public. Anybody will be able to come in and use them for free to try and work on and fix their own stuff. And you'll also be able to ask people like myself and my staff questions as you go along and try to work on your own stuff. So I have a hot air rework station here, a power supply, multimeter, microscope, microscope camera, and screen so that we can see what it is you're doing in the microscope and maybe give you pointers if you're doing something stupid like I used to in the early days, some UV curing stuff, all different types of tools and supplies to do the type of work that I've done on this channel over the years, and anybody will be able to come by. I don't want you to think that you need money to come by because this is free and open to the public and you don't need to be an expert in electronics repair or a nerd. You could have never used any of the equipment on this desk and barely know what it is and still you're welcome to come by and learn. The goal that we have with this is for people to gain a better understanding of how their technology works but more importantly to understand that their tech is not this magic black box that you can't open and work on. You can and again, you're not always going to fix it. Stuff's not always going to work. But there's a couple of things that people brought in that we were able to fix live on stream that one time. There was somebody who brought in a, um, a CB radio that wasn't working, and we got that to start getting stations again. There was somebody who brought in a you know, trackball mouse where the buttons weren't clicking, and I showed him how to replace his buttons, and we had some fun doing that on camera. And I hope to be able to do a lot more of that into the future. Our goal here at Futo is for people to understand how their tech works and to feel like they have greater sovereignty over their stuff. And what better way to do that than to give them an open forum and place where they can come in and work on their stuff without having to worry about spending thousands of dollars in equipment that they don't know how to use. So this is something I'm getting really excited about being able to put together here. And we're a few blocks from UT, so I hope to be able to get this open soon. I just have to finish unpacking all of this stuff over here. I stole one of the student desks because I don't have my desk from New York yet. But I will soon. There is an 18-wheeler that is coming tomorrow to my store, and it's going to be picking up 50% of my stuff and bringing it here. 50% will be here by the end of the week so that we can open this, for not just the, for the free repair workshops, people who want to use the desks, but for the, my private business, which will be open and taking repair jobs in very soon. And 50% of my stuff will be stuck in New York so that my staff can finish out all the old repairs at that store once they're done with all the old repairs in that store, that store will close. Another 18-wheeler will come by, bring the rest of that stuff here, and, well, that'll be bye-bye New York. This is my old camera from the early days of YouTube I got right here. My NEX EA50. Love my NEX EA50. I actually thought I lost my lens. I just thought I would give you a little preview of what we're setting up here before I am done. And I'm going to try to get back to some of your emails. I've gotten some emails from some actually really nice people that offer to donate equipment and tools and supplies. I'm sure that there are going to be people that walk in wanting to learn how to do stuff that I don't have tools or supplies for. And I'd really like to try to get a little bit of community engagement going here where maybe we have regulars that show up on a regular basis that have stuff to work on, or maybe regulars that show up that will be able to help newbies work on their own stuff. And, you know, again, I'm going to I, it's my intention to keep this part free where anybody comes by can work on the stuff with no charge. And uh, yeah, I, the, I will get back to all your emails because I got some regarding donations to this, which were very much so appreciated. So thank you very much for that. Well, that's about it for today. As always, I hope you learned something. I am going to get going because admittedly I'm using recording this video as a way to procrastinate on packaging everything. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.